buy this man's whole supply worth of cactus. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore Season 2, Episode 21. Now this is the second time I am having to record this video. Because for whatever reason my recording software glitched out and the entire video is just me standing here staring at you. So, I want to go over what I did and what I'm working on over here. Alright, we're going to have to go all the way back to the house. I'll see you there in a second. Okay, starting out, I was looking at this map addressing the fact that I have new plans that are out behind my house. Because this is being kind of like a major populated area, so I put up some plans for some more buildings as well as a very unique building that's kind of on a diagonal here. This one's going to be a pain in the butt to build, but we're not working on that this episode. Just, I'm now addressing that there are plans here for me to put in more buildings, possibly even a park or another garden here, and then a pathway leading back up that way. Now, I did address the fact that we have a lot of build projects going on, and I actually spun a wheel for it. I can't redo the wheel, sp wheel spin because I think that's what messed up my recording. But essentially, it had all my current projects going on at this current time on the wheel and I spun it to figure out what I wanted to do for this episode. But I kind of threw in some weird ones like working on the tree or working on some farms. The one I spun was working on the farms. So as you can see there's no longer this wooden pile out here because I moved one of my farms in between episodes. Or not in between episodes but in the glitched out episode. It was my sweet berry farm. I moved it back here. It's kind of like a little area. I'm glad some of them are actually grown in now, but I actually spoke about how I wanted to put a like a street lamp that's right there. Maybe putting one over here or maybe even a light attached to the building over here. But that's what I did right there. And then I was trying to discuss where I wanted to put up my pumpkin patch because I do need pumpkins. They are a big selling point for me. So I decided why not turn this building that I had no plans for into like a witch's hut. She sells potions and things of that nature and that's the reason she has a stall out front but this is where she lives and kind of grows all of her ingredients in the back so maybe off to the side maybe have like a little nether wart patch right here and then put a giant pumpkin garden back here and then put a stone wall across the back of this blending into the actual wooden wall that's going to mark out this guy. So the wooden wall is going to kind of be along this point here. So kind of the tree line is guarding it right now. But that's where the pumpkin patch is going to stop. So that's kind of where I'm building it this time. And that's kind of catching you up. Right here I decided that this receding wall was actually going to have an underground spring coming out of it. So that's the reason the bottom of this looks kind of weird. It's because I'm setting it up to go into the river. That's kind of where we're sitting right now. So with all of that went back over. First of all, I'm going to check the recording, make sure this is actually recording. And then I'm going to cut to me building in a pumpkin patch. Okay. Now that I've checked my editing, my recording software, let's get to building a pumpkin patch. There's a wandering trader. Hey, buddy. What you got? Black dye, kelp, cactus. Stay right where you are, buddy. Stay right where you are. Give me just a moment, I'll be right back with some emeralds. I'm gonna buy this man's whole supply worth of cactus. Please still let him be there. Oh, he is. Or at least I see his llamas. Is he still here? Yes, he is. He's hiding behind a tree. Excuse me, llamas. Excuse me, llamas. Can you speak to the man? Yes! Okay, cutting back in, I kind of have a layout of where the wall is going to sit. Now, this is also going to have some fence posts mixed in with it, so it's not going to look exactly like this. I was just kind of putting in a base layer and seeing how I feel about it. Because this wall is going to be pretty similar to the wall that goes along the back of this. So, they're going to kind of match up here, and they're going to kind of run into each other, but there's also going to be like this little bit of space back here that I can do something with. Not to mention, I'm going to have the wall meet up with the stone receding wall that's back here. So, there are some pieces in here that may end up being gone later. 
but I was kind of marking it out for myself so I know where I'm putting the pumpkins for this episode. I also got cactus. I am so excited about some freaking cactus. Even in season one, I couldn't find a desert. I have been all over this place, have not found a desert. This guy came up in here and had a whole bunch of cactus. I also bought out all of his black dye and some magenta dye with the emeralds I had left over, but I bought up every piece of cactus he had. Because everything else in his inventory, I can get myself. But I cannot find cactus. For whatever reason, I can't find the new mangrove biome, and I cannot find the uh, deserts. Like, I can't find the mesa, I can't find the actual desert biomes, I just, I can't. Anywhere with cactus, I can't find. I can find huge beaches, I can't find freaking cactus. So I'm gonna go put away one of my most pre one of my most precious commodities, and I'm just gonna go back with some pumpkins. Okay, and that's our pumpkin patch. I'm gonna leave that spot down there to possibly be my nether wart farm. Or I'm going to keep this space. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out once I get nether wart and see how far along I am with the village development before I fully put that in. I also need to go through and get rid of any of my floor torches that are left. Because there are plenty of torches on this. Except for the ones back there. Those can stay. But yeah, that is one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen different patches. Not all of them are fours, but most of them are. Okay, and that's a pumpkin patch done. I did go in and throw in some trees, as you can probably see. They are just basic spruce trees. I did have to use the dirt placement kind of thing and just build up around the saplings and grow them so that they were higher up off the ground. And the only one that kind of impedes any walking space is this one. And even then, I can just kind of morph the path around it. Just so it looks like you walk it this way. But I did end up growing a few of them up. Not all of them are grown up. But I think we're going to go in and figure out some other areas where I can fit in some smaller farms. One spot I think of heavily is this spot back here. It's kind of like hidden off back here. There isn't a whole lot back here. But back here, there's a whole bunch of empty space that I could probably use to put something back here that could be of a little bit more use. So I'm thinking maybe put, for the time being, making it a potato farm, but once I get carrots, maybe making this a carrot farm. And there we go, a little kind of hidden alleyway area. I need to get more glow lichen back here because there's one piece there that I kind of want to move so that I can plant another potato there, but I need shears to do that. So hold on, I'm gonna go grab some shears and see if I have any more bone meal in my bone meal farm. Okay, and there we go. We have a little back alleyway with some potatoes growing. I did throw a bunch of glow lichen back here, so hopefully it's lit up enough. If not, I can go through and just add a whole bunch more glow lichen. But that is a buttload of farms moved. I still need to get rid of the other pumpkin farm and move it elsewhere but I think with the length of this video and due to the fact of my previous one messing up I think I'm going to move on to doing another project you know what let's go do some work on the bridge well first of all I need to sleep and then I can go do some work on the bridge well you want to come down here with me you wanna come hang out? Wall has actually been joining me on most of my adventures. The only place I don't take Wall is when I am going into the nether in between episodes. Because I don't want to put this cat in more danger than he already is in when he's traveling with me. There we go. Also, I moved an iron golem down here, not because I didn't feel safe down here or anything, but because he kept getting in the way. <laughs> I was trying to set up the plans for that, and so I moved him down here so he'd be out of the way. Okay, I don't have the stone brick to be doing all of this. I have plenty of mossy stone brick and some cracked stone brick, but I don't have enough regular stone bricks because once I get to the top, it's almost completely stone brick. 
So right now, this one isn't even textured completely right because I was already supposed to start mixing in regular uh, stone brick with it, but I haven't done that yet. Not to mention this tower completely is just overgrown, seeing as there's bits of moss in it. And I kind of started doing some of the under the bridge stuff. But I haven't done quite a lot of it yet. What I want to do is mark out where the homes are going to be on this side. Because of course there's going to be people working, chopping the lumber, replanting the trees, things of that nature. So I'm going to need to go through and figure out where I actually want these buildings to sit. Here we go. That's two buildings to kind of veer us off going into the tree farm that's going to take up the entire rest of this island. These houses are going to be for the workers of the island. And then possibly put up like some market stalls and stuff like this so people from the big portion of the city can bring their goods over here. And also trade to these guys over here as well as these guys trading goods like smaller stocks of stuff or overstock to the people of the village like firewood things of that nature hey and you can kind of see them over there i kind of need to go back over there with some black wool but i used all of it to mark out the stuff over here so i need to go over there with like some bright colors of wool and mark it out but for right now that's kind of what we're working with there and that's gonna have to be all for this episode i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next episode bye